Yo, what's up guys? Today, we're going to be going over whether or not an external gaming monitor actually boosts performance in games. I know I should probably get like actual gameplay for you guys and like solos or duos or team rumble or anything, but the thing with that is there's not a way I can exactly replicate a game one to one. There will always be more people in different zones. The different areas of the map are more demanding and the different amounts of people are more demanding. I don't want to give you guys false information, so I decided that the best way to do this uh, test would be in creative because I can get a pretty much one to one test with my creative map. So that's just how I'm testing it. In case you guys are interested, the monitor I'm using is the Scepter E248B FPT168 165 hertz gaming monitor. It's 24 inches, 1080p. All right, so we are here in creative. I'm gonna go ahead and make a brand new map for you guys. I know this says video one, but create new. Tilted Towers, Tilted Towers POI? Ooh. I think we're gonna use the Tilted Towers POI island. We're just gonna go ahead and call it video. Oh my God, my caps lock is on video two. And we're going to go and put that in. And we're starting off on the laptop's own monitor, obviously, because that makes sense. But as you can see here, we're on competitive settings, I think. Yep, we're on competitive settings. So we're going to be using the same setting level for both the internal and external monitor. Here we are in Tilted Towers. This is kind of going to veer us away from the creative 1000 FPS that you get. So we're just going to build around a little bit, have a little bit of fun. As you can see, kind of just building around, looking up towards the sky, we're getting more 200. But if we like run around the city and whatever and actually like play the game, like we probably most of us would be playing if we kind of like build around the city and whatever you might do in a public game i highly doubt you do in a public game just because you get shot and you need mats and stuff but kind of running around on the ground here we're getting 120 ish i'm gonna say 120 building around obviously we're getting a little bit higher getting 130s 140s up into the 160s and 70s even maybe a little bit here but i'm um, looking at the sky we're getting over 200 i'm gonna go by the big air the arrow on the right which says up to 240 building around here looking at the city we're getting about 90 100 fps and then while we're kind of just like building up, building around, not really paying attention to the city too much, we're getting 160-ish. And then we go down and run around the city and we're getting 110, 120-ish. So there's our internal monitor test. And now I'm going to go ahead and plug in the external monitor. All right, so while we're reloading Fortnite, I think right now would be the perfect time to mention that if you're getting a 60 hertz monitor just to boost the FPS or a monitor in general just to boost the FPS, uh, you're probably buying a monitor for the wrong reasons. A reason I would recommend buying a monitor is you want a higher refresh rate or you want the same refresh rate as your monitor's panel just with a bigger screen with an asterisk there. If you're getting it for a 60 hertz panel, I really would recommend you go ahead and save up for a high refresh rate monitor. My monitor was $150 in 2020 so here a few years later it's obviously more outdated hardware you can probably find it for 130 probably even 100 bucks on ebay go ahead and get yourself a nice high refresh rate monitor it's different though if you have a 144 hertz monitor if you if your laptop has a 144 hertz built-in panel you're struggling to get that an external monitor while it's bigger it will make your experience more enjoyable as long as you're not dropping pixels if your laptop has a 1080p 144 hertz panel and you get an external 1080p 144 hertz panel bigger monitor and it's still 144 hertz it will boost your fps slightly and it will make your game bigger to your eyes and it'll make your experience a lot more more enjoyable if you have a 144 hertz monitor on your laptop and you're buying a 60 hertz external monitor spoiler alert it will make your experience a lot worse so don't do that with that being said let's jump right into the external monitor test running around i think we we're getting 120 ish maybe here and now we're getting 160 170 jumping back into is it tilted powders I kind of reset the map a little bit. I broke all my builds that I placed. We're getting about 120, 130. I think we're getting 80, 90 dropping in here the first time. Not since this is 165 hertz, it feels a lot smoother. It feels a lot better. The colors are more vibrant. Everything is just overall a better experience. Whether or not it boosts FPS at all, I still think you guys should get an external monitor because especially a high refresh rate one, because it really makes a world of a difference. Like I, I hope you guys can see, I feel a lot more confident building, doing some crazy stuff here. But wow, feels a lot better, even though it might not be boosting our FPS as much as you'd like to see. Definitely feels a lot better. And like I was saying, even if you're if you're buying a monitor just to boost the FPS, you're buying a monitor for the wrong reasons. Sorry, I didn't really see how much FPS we were getting building around. But running around in town, I think we were getting about 110, 120-ish maybe before. And now we're getting 120, 130, 140. So slight FPS boost here. And I know that we came here and built around a little bit. We took a look at the sky while we were building and we were getting about 170, 180 while building up towards the sky with the sky being our main focus. Right now we're getting 200 to 220. And then we stopped and looked at the sky. So if we go ahead and build up and just look at the sky, I think we were looking back over here. Oh wow, that, that clearly boosted our FPS because before we were getting 240, I'll go ahead and put a picture up on screen. Now we're getting 270-ish. We're getting almost the lowest FPS numbers are almost what our highest FPS numbers were before. So there definitely is an FPS boost here. There definitely is an FPS boost here with the monitor. And not only are we getting, what the heck? 
freaking got Dorito edits, bro. Not only are we getting slightly higher FPS with the external monitor, we also get high refresh rate compared to the 60 hertz panel built into my laptop, which looks insane. And the colors are a lot more vibrant and it just is a much better experience overall. So yeah, my point is proven. An external monitor does boost FPS slightly. So that's pretty, that's pretty sick. So yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty interesting actually. This is all you were looking for in this video. Go ahead and leave now. But if you're actually interested in how it boosts FPS like that, stick around for a few more minutes and I will get into how it boosts the performance. All right, so obviously we just proved that using an external monitor boosts performance. I'm gonna go into how it kind of boosts performance in the hardware side of things. And I'm gonna try to break it down for you guys here. So if you go to your NVIDIA control panel, I'll go ahead and make it bigger. You'll see something like this. It's the home page of NVIDIA control panel. If you go to set physics configuration you can see our scepter m24 monitor which it's that's just what it's named in the system for some reason is connected through hdmi directly to our nvidia geforce gtx 1650 and now if i go ahead and unplug my external monitor and now on the internal monitor on the laptop you can see here that we have nothing connected to our gtx 1650 and our laptop display is connected to the intel uhd graphics 6 so it's using a little bit of cpu because obviously it's it's a dedicated chip on the cpu but it's heating your cpu up a little bit and you're using ram because uh, you're using another graphics card so obviously it doesn't have its own vram so it needs to use some system memory it also makes your frame time slightly bigger which will make it feel more stuttery because you're rendering the game on the 1650 and then it has to be sent from the 1650 to the 630 in order to then be sent to the laptop display so that induces a little bit more input lag which is not needing to be there once again if we go ahead and plug back in you can see here that whole thing with the intel 630 went away and we're now plugged in directly to the 1650 using the 1650s vram disabling the intel uhd graphics and not using ram or cpu that we don't need to therefore boosting our fps ever so slightly but yeah so that's pretty much just it we're just cutting out the middleman of the intel uhd 630 graphics by wiring up directly to the nvidia gtx 1650 and that makes it so that we don't have to send our frames through extra areas and have to use extra ram because well obviously the intel graphics don't have their own vram such as like the 1650 so it's going to use some system memory to be able to do that and that's pretty much it it's, it's pretty simple i think uh well then again i've also built a computer if you guys have made it this far comment chez c-h-e-z and i'll go ahead and toss your comment a heart if you guys found this video informative entertaining or worth watching to this point since you've made it this far go ahead and toss a like on it and subscribe to the channel as it really does mean the world to me and uh, leave a comment down there that'll help it push through the algorithm help it rank up in searches it will help answer other people's questions as well questions comments or concerns go ahead leave them down below i'll be sure to answer i'm not really surprised by this i kind of expected this but that's nvidia optimus right there for you guys and it's 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 crazy to think that just by plugging in a, an hdmi cable to a tv even you can boost your fps but yeah that's it for today guys so peace out for the next 30 days i'm going to be streaming on twitch stay tuned for the ups downs ins and outs of the twitch streaming experience oh no, it's the thing they're either blanketing Thirty. 60. knocked Let's go, yeah. baby.